Yo, MVBs, let's kick it. All right, stop, collaborate, and listen. Jen is back with a brand new invention. That's right, bees. I have three new games for you today. Not one, not two, but three. I'm gonna finish out one of my games and I will let you know where that cash is going to be going. My twist today is going to be a little different than what you guys are used to, so you definitely wanna hang out for that. The best part is one of the games is an interactive game. What is that? So that means you and me will be playing together. If you didn't already know about our interactive game, it's okay. I'll get you in with the cool kids. All right, you guys, let's get started. Now that the party is jumping with the bass kicked in, the Vegas are pumping quick to the point, to the point, no faking. All right, I hope you, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy my dancing and rapping skills today. That is one of my all time favorite songs, not gonna lie. So anyway, today I have $858 to stuff with you guys. Not sure if you got what I was saying, but what I was getting at is I'm gonna get to the point. No faking. All right, you guys, let's count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred. 858. As always, this first $400 goes to my 20K in one year. So that leaves us with 458 for the rest of the games. Okay, you guys, so much to deliver on in this video. I hope you're ready. Let's start with my favorite game. Why hold it to the end, right? Let's get to it. And that is going to be Card Castle. If you're new to the channel and you've never seen Card Castle, this game is in our Etsy store and it is restocked on the 1st and 15th of every month. We use bingo chips to keep our places. So as you can see, the only thing that you need to play this game is a deck of playing cards. It comes with bingo chips. Okay, so I got a diagonal and that is worth $1. So let's keep going. Another diagonal, $1. Okay, so I've got a horizontal line and those are worth $10. Let's keep going. Okay, so now I have a vertical line and those are worth $5. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop there with Card Castle. Total going into Card Castle today is 10, 15, 16, 17. The game now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Let's get the companion cards going. Odds are even, I love this. Starting off with my favorite one. So we're gonna roll three dice. And I have two odd numbers and one even number. So that means I am going to save either one, three, or $5. I'm gonna go ahead and do five. Okay, you guys, here's my twist for you. What I wanna do on this video is give you guys a few little tips, some of which you might already know, but it's nice to hear them again, it refreshes your memory and gets you motivated, right? So this is what I wanna do. I wanna tell you guys tips on how you can challenge yourself so that you will have more cash at the end of the week to do your savings challenges with. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is canceling your subscriptions. I know we've all heard this a hundred times, right? But it's so true. They literally have subscriptions for everything going on in your life. They have them for your pets, food delivery, makeup, audible books, music, and obviously your television. So here's the thing, I want you, if you pick this one, to challenge yourself to look through your bank statement and get rid of all but one streaming service. Sorry, what? I know, but you can do it. 
Seriously, back in the day when I was a single mom and I literally had no money, there was no such thing as Netflix and Hulu then, and I did not have cable. It was a running joke with my friends when it was time to come to my house to hang out. Oh God, we gotta watch Seinfeld because I literally had a VHS tape where I had cut out all the commercials of Seinfeld and I would pop that in my VCR and just let it play for hours on end. Wow. <laughs> not kidding. Couldn't make that up if I wanted to. So anyway, tip number one, cancel those subscriptions. Next game, you guys. Okay, so I want to go ahead and do monthly party. I have to do this every week. Okay, as everybody knows, it is $11 a day. I need to add $77, 77. Monthly party is now up to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 50, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. $1,829 in monthly party. Okay, so next is make a wish. And in this game, you pull coins and save based on what you pulled. I do four coins each time. You can do one, two, it is completely up to you. So I've got my coins and I'm gonna pull four and let's see what I end up with. Okay, so today I have three nickels and a dime. Nickels are worth five. The dime is worth 10, so that is $25. And you guys, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so this time I have a quarter, two nickels, and a dime, and that is going to be $40. Sixty-five total in Make a Wish is five, six, seven, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety, eight ten, eight twenty, eight twenty-five, eight twenty-six. Let's pull our companion card. Two bucks. Tip number two, you guys: the no spend challenge. This challenge actually completely changed my life. I did it for 60 days and it really was an eye opener. If 60 days sounds extreme to you, it kind of was. So why don't you challenge yourself to do just a weekend and see how you do. Do not spend money on anything. It's a great start and at the end of the weekend, you will be surprised at how many times you have to be conscious of what you're spending. Let's play a new game. So as you can see, this is a full size. My printer, for whatever reason, decided it was not gonna let me print my five by sevens. So this one is full size, but that is okay because it is so cute, you guys. Look at this, it is called Cookie Cash. You color any cookie and save $1 or $5. The gingerbread is worth $10. This is the envelope that comes with it. So I'm going to roll a dice to tell me how many cookies I'm gonna color today. Four. And I'm gonna make them worth $5 a piece. So that will be 20 going into Cookie Cash today. Colored in my four symbols, so cute you guys. 20 going in to Cookie Cash today. Flip a companion card, five bucks. Okay, you guys, tip number three. This one is track your spending. Separate your bills from all of your other spending and you will see very quickly where you can save. I want you to pick one of those categories and go absolutely crazy with it. Currently for me, it's groceries. If you are not familiar with my grocery dilemma, check out my cash stuffing videos and you will see how I'm doing with my one category that I've decided to challenge myself with. Okay, so next is stuff the stockings. And I did say last week that I was gonna go ahead and pay the $90 that I owe this game so that I have all of my Christmas money accounted for. $90. Okay, you guys, I did it all colored in. It looks so adorable. So stuff the stockings now has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80. 280 dollars i love this almost 300 bucks to buy some gifts for everybody with i love it so this empty spot in my binder will go to cookie cash once i can get my printer to print it small enough to go in the binder the other game that i'm going to be finishing off today is trick or treat 
So here's what is going on with Trick or Treat. I added up how many candy corns, gumballs, and chocolates I have left. The total is $50. $50. So Trick or Treat gave me 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 144 dollars and this is what i'm gonna do with my savings challenges moving forward okay so what i've decided is i need a month ahead binder i am loving these things i haven't gotten mine situated yet so that money will just go to the side until i have it but you guys will definitely see it when i have it and we will start putting money away in my month ahead binder i'm so excited about that it really gives my savings challenges a awesome place to go Okay, so now I'm coming at you guys with tip number four. And since we just spoke about groceries, I'm gonna use that as the next tip. This is the one place that you can save so much money if you really put some effort into it. So my tips, what I've been doing are these things. I've been allotting a specific amount I have my meal plan with my list and I stick to my list. A lot of people say to do pickup so that you don't go off your list. I'm not a big fan of the pickup and that is mainly because of the substitutions. Sometimes they can just be absolutely crazy substitutions and I'm not down with that. So I like to do my shopping by myself. Try meat free meals. That is a huge savings when there is no meat involved. I actually had tomato soup and grilled cheese two nights ago. That was our meat free meal for the week. And when you are shopping, try to stay away from the eye level items. Those are usually name brand and they've paid a premium to be on the shelf at your eye level. So look way high and way low for lower priced items when you're grocery shopping. So let's pull our companion card. Today's date is. So today is November 12th. There are so many ways you could do this card. I'm actually going to add the 11 and the 12 together to make 23. 23. Lower budget, you could have just added the one and the two for the 12th and saved $3. Okay, you guys, my other new spot in my binder is getting filled with snow party. So cute. Snowmen are my absolute favorite thing at Christmas time, probably because I lived in Florida and we didn't get snowmen. So maybe that's why I love them so much. I don't know. But here is the new game. There's a little Yeti down there, a little gingerbread house. The ornaments and the snowflakes are too cute. I love how the ornaments have a little bit of a vintagey vibe so this is a dice and a board game so it says up at the top roll your dice and move down the board to help me meet my friends for a holiday party each snowflake has either a one two or three dollar amount on it if you land on an ornament you roll your dice and you save that amount in dollars if you land on the present you are stopping and picking out a present for secret santa and you can pay any amount you want up to ten dollars your choice. The gingerbread house is stop to pick up ingredients for the gingerbread house and pay $5. So let's get started with Snow Party. I am always so excited to play new games. I'm gonna use two dice today. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got the present. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the ten dollars. Let's keep going till we get to the end. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three dollars. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another three dollars. And we're basically to the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Total going into our new game snow party is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars. Let's pull our companion card. Four dollars. Okay, you guys, tip number five on how to 
start saving in a little extra money for your savings challenges. And this one is perfect for this time of year. Sell items that you are not using. Go through your closet, go through your garage. Get rid of it, throw it away. If you have little kids, this is absolutely the best time. Things that they've grown out of, toys they're not using anymore. Sell them on Facebook, Mercari, eBay, anything. Not only will you be decluttering your house, you could give yourself some extra holiday cash. You could pay off a little bit of your debt, or as I said before, have more cash for your savings challenges. Yay. Okay, you guys, I want to play one of our freebie games. This one is called Be Our Guest. So when I say a freebie game, I just mean that in the description below, you can click on our link and find quite a few saving challenges that are free for you to print and start saving your money today. I'm gonna be saving $40 today. Colored in the four symbols. Be Our Guest now has 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, and five, six, seven, eight. 208. Let's flip a companion card. Temperature. So the low today is 35. So I'm gonna add the three and the five together and save eight. $8. Okay, you guys, tip number six. This one's a little different. If you haven't heard of this app called Neighbor, I never heard of it either until recently. And I like this one because I feel like anybody could use it. If you have room in your driveway, room in your garage, your basement, an extra room, your shed, or even a lot of land, you can rent out places for people to park a vehicle park an RV, which is what I did, store some of their extra stuff in an extra room that you have or your basement or your shed, whatever, and make some extra cash. I love this one. I will link in the description below again what it's called so you don't forget in case you want to try it. I'm not affiliated with this app at all. I just know that it's out there and it is something that I feel like anybody could use to start saving some cash. Okay, you guys, I'm going to count up how much extra cash I saved using my companion cards. Extra going in today is 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 dollars. And you guys definitely wanna stick around. Next is the interactive game. I will let you guys know what you need to do to get ready to play. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 260, 61, 62, 63, 285. Okay, you guys, here is the new game. It is called Hello Honey, and you will want to watch and play along with two sister bees. So from this date forward, you can watch any of our savings challenges, and we will be playing this on the video. Here it says grab your dice and playing cards, but I'm actually gonna play that today without either one of those items, just in case you weren't prepared. And don't forget, add $1 every time we use a B pun. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to play I Spy together because we all have objects in our house, right? Right. Okay, so if you were not aware of this game, the first thing you wanna do is pause the video, click the link in the description below, to download this game and print it out. If you do not have a printer, you could even make your own and just kind of draw in 20 honey pots. They don't have to be anything fancy, but you can still play along. So I've decided today, for those who do not have dice or playing cards, we're going to play I Spy. So the first thing I want you to do is to look around your house and find something that starts with the letter S for sisters. Okay, I found my husband's socks over there in the corner. So how many letters are in the word of the object that you found? Socks has five letters. So I'm gonna write the number five there. Let's I spy another object. We're gonna use the letter B this time for bees. Okay, I have my object, it is a bottle. 
not a baby bottle. There's no babies here. It is a bottle of Tito's vodka over there on the bar. So bottle is six letters. I have totaled 11. What does yours total up today? Let's say yours totals 10 for an example. That would mean 21. You could either save the $21 or you could add the two and the one together and save $3. So we have a higher budget and a lower budget. Okay, I had to make change for my $11. So we're gonna put away the $11 into our Hello Honey envelope. You guys, that was the bee's knees. Oh, I just used a bee pun. We all have to add a dollar, gotcha. You didn't think we were gonna get away without one of those, right? Not on the first time. Okay, I hope you guys really liked Hello Honey. I know I certainly do. This is so cute. What a great idea April came up with on this one. So I have $23 left over. And I always go to 100 Honeys when I'm at the end and I need to finish out some cash. The 23 is still open. 23, 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. Seven eighty-seven. Last but not least is my twenty k in one year savings challenge. So I have eight weeks left to reach my twenty k in one year. Okay, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, hit the button over here in the corner. If this video has not convinced you that we are all about you guys and making saving fun, then you might not know about our 2K giveaway. This is going on until November 14th, 2022. I'm gonna put the link in the description for this as well. This game is also a freebie game. You can download and print this as one of your savings challenges. All of the other games that you saw me play today are available in our Etsy store, as well as our companion cards, and so much more. Etsy store is at Two Sister Bees. And lastly, I have eight weeks left of my 20K in one year. So on December 31st, New Year's Eve, I'm going to be unstuffing the $20,000. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you do not miss anything that is coming up. Where to your mother? And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.